Hi Stampers! Today we're going to make this flower pot card. It's so cute. i seen on Stephanie's blog. She has the written directions there. And I posted the link right above my video on my blog. So click on that and go say hi to Stephanie. So Stephanie said I could go ahead and make a video with her measurements. So today's the day. Thank you Stephanie. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and do the flowers first. The, I already went ahead and did three. I'm going to show you how I did that. I punched all the flowers out and the leaves with the five petal flower punch. And then the centers, I used the trio flower punch. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere the center and the leaf. Now since they're the same with the five petal flower punch, I'm just going to turn the flower a little bit and off-center it so it looks like that. Okay? And I did all four the same way. And then I'm going to take my gel pen and I'm just going to add a white center to the flower. Okay, and then I used the Rose Red and the Regal Rose, Lavender Lace, and Apricot Peel. So those are the four colors, and then certainly celery for the centers and the leaves. Okay, so now that that's done, let's go on to the card. Now I'm using the Close to Cocoa, and that's cut at 3.5 by 9. And then you're going to score it at 2 inches and at 5.5. And, and then you're going to fold your card like that. So it should look like that when you're folding it. And then this is going to be the front of your flower pot. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add the scallop border on the front. I guess this would be considered the rim of your flower pot. Okay, so that's done. So it looks like that. Cute. All right, so then now the insert, the close to cocoa, is cut at four and a half by two and a half and then the whisper white is cut at two and a quarter by four and a quarter and that's going to layer right on top of that like that and then I also went ahead and cut a piece of creamy caramel and that's cut at three and a half by a half inch okay so then we're going to go ahead and stamp the flower pot I'm using the close to cocoa ink get that out of the way and then I'm going to use the sanded background. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to flip that over and I'm going to add the close to cocoa ink to that. And then I'm going to fold the card shut for the front and then I'm just going to flip that over and add that right to the front of my sanded background. So it looks like that. Okay, so now the cutting part Okay, let's see if I can get this on camera for you. Okay, so you're going to lift the lid with your card shut like this. You're going to lift the scallop part, and this is going to be where your two inch score line is, and then your five and a half. So you're going to take the two inch score line, and you're going to line that up right on the cutting track of your cutter, and then the five and a half inch score line is going to be lined up with the half inch mark on your cutter. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut that. Now remember, you're cutting through two pieces of cardstock, so you're probably going to have to have your scissors handy to finish cutting that. Okay. And then once you get that side done, then just go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing. Put the two-inch score line on the on the cutting track. And then the five and a half on the half inch mark on your cutter. And cut that down. Almost cuts through, but not quite. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and put two dimensionals underneath, like, the rim of your flower pot. Go underneath there. And 
then seal that down. Okay, looks like that. Then you're going to take your creamy caramel, and I'm just going to add this to the front right above those scallops. Like that. Cute. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and add our insert. I'm going to adhere these two pieces together. Okay. And then now the trick to getting this lined up, now this will fit perfectly right inside your flower pot, but you'll notice if you go any which way, it's going to stick out like that. So you want to get that lined up right at the score line and it fits perfectly. And then I'm just going to open it up and then I'm going to put some snail right here and right here. That's just going to hold my insert in place and then I'm going to seal that shut. So then the insert can come out and go in and stay in place like that. Okay, so now for decorating the top of my flower pot with the flowers, I find it's easier just to start with the center flower, take a dimensional, and I'm going to put that right on the edge of the rim of your flower pot. And I'm going to take my red one here, my rose red, put that right there, and then just kind of work building your flowers all around that. Lavender lace. And I like to kind of camouflage that insert so they don't really know to pull that. It's kind of cute. I'll take my apricot peel. I'm going to put one right here. Peel that off. And just kind of wiggle the flower in be behind there. Like that so far. And then we got the Regal Rose one to still put on. Line that up underneath there. Okay, so there's your card. Isn't it adorable? I love it. Oh, I love this card. It's so cute. I've made so many. Okay, so then once you open it up, as far as take the insert out, you could stamp your greeting here along the side or right in the center. This would be so cute for Mother's Day. And I made this one using to the nines designer paper, the specialty. When you buy three of any of the designer papers and the textured 12 by 12, you get one free. So this is to the nines and it's the same exact same flower pot that I just made with you. And I used the Barely Banana and the Sage Shadow and then I just used the half inch circle punch for the centers with the same designer paper. So that's it. Aren't they cute? Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later.